Now this question relates to process capability. When calculating the CP index, what does 6 times the standard deviation represent in the formula USL minus LSL divided by 6 times the standard deviation. So we want to know what does the denominator mean. So let's just understand what this formula essentially is all about. On the numerator, we have USL minus LSL which is nothing but the tolerance of the process. And what is tolerance? Tolerance is the amount of variation the customer is willing to accept. In the denominator, we have 6 times the standard deviation. From the property of normal distribution, you would know that 3 times the standard deviation on either side covers 99.73% of the data. So in essence, we are saying that on the numerator, we are looking at what the customer wants. And in the denominator, we are saying what the process is capable of delivering. So the denominator essentially is talking about the process range. Right? What is the range of variation which is uh, currently there in the process? It is certainly not A, which is tolerance, which is there in the numerator. Conference level is, I think, irrelevant in this context. D, which is variance of the index. It is not absolutely the variance of the index. If you had talked about variation of the process, possibly D could have been the answer. So certainly in this case, the answer is C. I just also want to clarify that in case if you get the same question without six times the standard deviation, that is if the question states when calculating the CP index, what does the standard deviation represent? In that case also, it may not be wrong to answer, answer this as a C. But by any chance, if D was variation of the process, then D would be the right answer if we don't have 6 on the top in the question and we have variation instead of variance in uh, D. But as such, I would uh, stick to C as far as this particular question is concerned.